If you view the world as separate from you, you become its victim. And this is what the majority of people on Earth feel like, victims of someone or something outside of them. This trap kills all human potential. If you put your problems out there, you are powerless. Hence, all you can do is sit down and complain. And your complaining is usually accurate. But it doesn't fix anything. As the outer world is a reflection of the inner world. So, if we do not fix our inner world, the outer world will not change. Victim mentality preys on you by blinding you of all possibilities. For example, if you think there are no jobs out there. You are now blind to any job that may come up. Because you do not think there are any opportunities, you will see none. And if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you already know that we create our own reality. By thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So, a victim of the world creates more circumstances to be a victim of the world. I am speaking from personal experience. And to this day, I catch myself feeling like a victim of something momentarily. But I stop right there. It is important to become aware of your own inner conversations. Especially when you have suffered a seeming setback in life. Perhaps a breakup. A job loss or something like that. It is important to carefully monitor your inner conversation and see if there is any victim mentality poking through. And you might just catch yourself indulging in it. Stop it right there. As it will kill your potential to recover from that setback. And you will stop dead in your tracks. This is one common theme of thinking and feeling for people who are stuck in life. I have been there, so I know this state of being intimately. And the world around us propagates it. As this world is filled with complainers and whiners. And to top it all off, the religions of the world offload all of our own responsibilities to an external God. That is, it was God's decision. It is God's will that you are being tested. Thus, they legitimize your suffering. Making it look like there is something noble in suffering. And so, propagation of this mentality continues. All you need to do is shift your focus from out there, to in here, inside you. Inner locus of control rather than outer locus of control. If you have watched my other videos, then you know that this is a game of life. Life is a game. And we are here to expand our consciousness and create. We are powerful immortal beings playing a life sim. To understand what it is like to be a human. And we are creating this world collectively with our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Or as Neville Goddard puts it, with our imagination. As he said it many times in his lectures, that your own wonderful human imagination is God. So, you are limitless. Your inner being, the real you, is capable of anything. Yet the religions of this world offload all your creative powers to a God outside. And you by default become a victim of that God's judgment and will. If you do not believe in God then it is society or government. Or your personal relationships. And so on it goes to everyone and everything except yourself. But that is okay. This game of life is so immersive, illusive, and complex, that we often find ourselves lost in it. And forget who we really are. I guess that is the real challenge. That is, to keep your knowing of who you really are in this highly deceptive illusion. Therefore even now, I fall off the track sometimes. Which inspired me to make this video. For it to serve as a reminder to those who get lost for a bit. Come back to your inner power. You are your own salvation and Armageddon. The out there comes, from in here. Get into your power and claim your life. Imagine wonderful things and prosper and expand. You deserve a lavish life with all that you want in it and far beyond. So, no matter how many times you get blinded by this illusion, come back to your inner knowing. That you are a powerful creator. And there are no limits on you. Your potential is limitless. And you can be, do, and have, anything. When you feel yourself getting drawn into the victim mentality, try this exercise. Hold still for a while and clear your mind. Then say this. I am not a victim of, fill in the blank. For example, I am not a victim of society. I am not a victim of God. I am not a victim of my mother. I refuse to be a victim of this disease. I am not a victim of my ex. I am not a victim of myself. I am not a victim of this situation. I am free from any external power. And just like that, you will free yourself from all that heavy weight on your shoulders. And feel the power surge in your body. This is all the potential getting released in your body that was blocked by the negative worldview of victim mentality. The victim mentality kills our growth in this game. And we get lost totally in the human identity. Thus, we begin to have a human experience filled with limitations. So, open up and accept your divine self as your true self, to release your divine potential. 
Watch this video next to understand who you really are, your relationship with God and this universe. It will free you even more and make you feel limitless.